love this, you guys. Like, this has been so amazing to be, you know, like our show was announced at, in 2019. We went into a pandemic while our show just wrapped. And so to be able to be out with the fans and experience like what it really feels like to be part of the Bravo family is unbelievable. What are you hearing from your fans this weekend? A lot of baby gorgeous. I called Henry a little bit ago because a bunch of fans were cheering, John, Jack, and Henry, John, Jack, and Henry. And I just thought it was like the cutest ever. It made me so happy. A lot of I love that. Uh -huh. But it's been awesome, and it's really good to have that interaction with the fans. What's going on with your cast? Because we're seeing that you and Whitney are so close, and it looks like Meredith and, and Heather have gotten so close. Where are things with the two of you? Is there a big line, a divide line between you guys right now? You know, one thing John and I really pride ourselves on is bouncing. So we move forward quickly and fast in situations where we work together, we're married. Um, so we're always trying to be better as a couple, and I think we've applied that to like our friendships too. And so for me, like Whitney and I have never had a problem that was so big we couldn't overcome it. Like silly things like Whitney love, like you know comments I've made that have hurt her feelings and little ones that she's made that hurt mine, but they weren't big deal things. They're like little. So for me, it wasn't like that hard to become friends with Whitney because I never really had a big problem with Whitney. I was respectful of her relationship with Heather and Heather's disdain for me. So I'm like, I'm staying at an arm's length. But, you know, Whitney and I just had like a couple great conversations. And through those conversations, I realized I'm like, we have a lot more in common than we don't. And Whitney and I actually like enjoy a lot of the same things. So it was an easy friendship to grow.